All right, hi guys. Um, I'm just gonna make a quick review video of my Mad Bob's padlock, um, lever padlock picks here, and I've just got some lever padlocks in the background. Uh, we'll get to them in a minute. So yeah, you get first of all you get them in a Mad Bob style. Um, pick case, it's what nylon does the does the job, and it's stitched. Stitching and all that's done pretty well. And when you open it up, you see you get your tensioners here, and you get two picks, which I think are made of uh, spring steel, possibly, because um, they have a bit of play to them. But they're strong. Um, you get one short and one long. I find um, at the moment anyway that this one, the longer one, comes in more use than the shorter one and the shorter one seems to slip a lot and this one seems to be the right length most of the time. But uh, you get two of those and then you have three of these kind of tensioners, all different of course. Let's get them out there now. And you can see you get one with a long stalk there and one with a short one. You also get one with a hole in it and it's fairly thick. All of these are then uh, held together by putting this is the tensioner here by putting the chosen pick in through the hole like so and then tightening these little screws with the knurling on it which feels good and you'll see we've got a notch there to put the pick down as a guide and yeah you can then pick the levers like so, something like that. Um, what was I going to say now? Um, well, one, for one thing anyway, the material for these feels like uh, steel. Stainless steel. And um, all good quality now, just because they are strong, which they are doesn't mean they're not gonna bend because I've actually bent this one before I fixed it again but um, they do bend if you use too much force to try and turn the um, to tension the lock I should say um, so yeah I'll just get get these locks over here just to demonstrate what we would use them for as you can see this one here has the hole in it and that's what you'd use one of these for. As you can see, that one fits fine. And then it comes through the back there. And then obviously you would apply this to there to tension it. Um, this one here is slightly longer. It wouldn't fit this one really. Um, I don't really have a lock that this one fits yet, but you get that one. This one they do say it fits most not all and for example it doesn't want to fit this one but that could be because this is in the way but at the mo as it is it doesn't want to fit well never mind I suppose it fits now <laughs> typical right well anyway just bear in mind that it, these won't fit all locks but I mean it fits fits that one fits this one and it fits this one which is going to be the f one of the locks I'm going to pick not in this video but in the next one um, so yeah fairly good um, choice of picks um, something I just want to point out is the design of this tensioner um, personally now I would prefer if you had another 
one, at least one of these, but slightly longer. Reason for that is I prefer. Um, I've gotten used to it now, but I prefer if you had a longer one, so that you could just press down um, to add more torque to it. Because sometimes this gets you have to get used to using this, and sometimes the lock comes in different shapes and sizes, so you kind of have to hold it in different ways in your hand um, just to get its attention comfortably while you're picking in your hand. I suppose if you're picking your vice, it doesn't really matter, but uh, overall, anyway, it's a nice design. Uh, I do like it now. In the beginning, I, it was kind of hard because you had to get used to it, and I would have in the beginning. I, pref I thought I would have preferred the other design where it's just one solid bar but I think I this has grown on me a bit and I like this design now so yeah you get these these pick wires three different heads for the tensioner and then the tensioner itself and at the moment if you want to buy one of these you can get them for 34 pounds 99 excluding that and um, that's just as it is the price as it is at the moment and um, would I recommend you get them yes if you if you've never had any set before you can get I'd recommend getting this for your your picking of lever padlocks yeah, it's I think it's worth the quality is uh, is there and the finish I'm, I'm satisfied with the finish I mean, you can have a look. No rough edges or anything. That's just, uh, I don't know, I suppose that's just a little bit of a machining problem there, but you can see there that they all finished pretty pretty nicely. And they've all got the little notch on the end to guide your pick where it's supposed to go, as you can see. Minus this one, of course, but it's not. It's more of a convenience thing to have that on the end. So uh, yeah, I'd recommend it. It's good quality and does the job. Um, obviously not perfect, but nothing really is. So um, yeah, if you like what you see, then feel free to get these on Mad Bob's lockpicks and yeah thanks for watching and bye for now